Hi guys, I'm going to install, guess what, Arch Linux, right? It's all Arch Linux. I'm going to install one of the 42 ways to install Arch Linux. 42 ways. I'm going to do this one, Arch install without Calamar. So if Calamar is not working, then there are other things, right? A riser project is without Calamaris. It uses scripts. And all the rest are with Calamaris, except the archway. And the archway is explained in Arclinx D, phase seven, the most quite difficult. If you're a beginner in Linux, that's not advisable, right? And there is also the arch install. And I've already visited a couple of times, but it was a really long time ago since I've looked at the code and this is about scripting. So less in typing, more in decision making. And I've just installed it and I was very surprised how efficient and good the Arch install became over time, right? And you'll see one of two, so not that many, but you can more or less see at the date 2021-04 and here another one by the number. So really jump jumps in in months of time so let's visit again the arch install script you don't have to do anything for it it's on the iso of arch linux so arch linux the name exists i need to have a an, um, i'll type update behind it i'll find another name later on and put it here so this is core this is Arch Linux just did this one and I'm gonna do this one now you mount your Arch Linux in this case of May and you put it up and it's there it's gonna be there in UFI or bias doesn't matter we're doing everything in bias setup but it's Arch you put up and you type arch install life would be easy if everybody had the same keyboard but guess what everybody does not have the same keyboard so that's your first search look around how to get to your load keys your keyboard there is de for germany be latin one for azerty keys belgian azerty because it's also French as it is to make things a little bit more interesting, right? Even more complex. Arch install. That's the name you need to, in, to remember. Install Arch Linux, Arch install. Enter. And everything has changed. We get here this, uh, well, choice list, list of variables that are going to be used. English is good for me. US keyboard. There we go. I'm very happy to inform you that this is a great search. So slash and then BE and I go down and find my BE Latin I press enter boom it's in super same here I know Sweden is wonderful for us Sweden it is select hard drives well this is the one 30 gigabyte that's gonna be the big one the other one is the USB so to speak right the virtual usb the disk select disk layout don't mind it's you it's a system that eh? for testing i'll test my arch linux tweak tool in it wipe all selected drives and use best effort default sure 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 go ahead and next for as default no encryption needed bootloader nothing to select it's grub not to uh, it's not possible to change that you swap true or false i'm gonna say no don't need it specify host name arch links is great right no need to change it set root password yes done it's um too weak well, it's my name my way my name is not weak <laughs> yes default okay one more time okay that's in 
then the user account, right? Guess what? It's going to be Eric and the password. You know what it is. Yes. And again, the password. Okay. Now here I've made a mistake in the last setup. What should I select here? Add user, confirm is what I did. Manage ordinary user accounts. Yep, I don't think I can do anything else. This sounds like the good thing. Problem was I was not root. Maybe that's this, I don't know. Let's see. We can do minimal server xorg. Then you decide to have later Matteo or anything else. You to type everything. Server desktop is probably what people will use. And you choose something that can work for you. XFC, for example. Now we go to the graphical drivers. I am on a virtual machine. So I'm not interested in proprietary NVIDIA drivers, but this one is good for me. Audio. Default is Pipewire, fine by me. It's a virtual machine, I don't care. I have the Linux kernels, choose. Linux is good. Additional packages to install. This I haven't done, so I, let's check. Only packages such as base, base devel, Linux, Linux firmware are installed. If you desire a web browser such as Firefox, you may specify it in the following prompt, write additional packages as well space separated leave blank to skip okay i missed firefox and i missed melt okay configure network i'm so glad this is in network manager super easy select time zone again this slash is awesome so brussels that's the one set automatic time sync true yes fine Additional repositories to enable. Multilib is normally enabled on Arch Linux. And then we go and install. Enter to continue. Off it goes. So the thing is, last time I installed it, my Eric did not have permission to install anything. So I wonder if it's in the script or it's something I did again because I did not see anything telling me that I would be able to install stuff we'll see might be my mistake sorry guys sorry you tell me what i did wrong and maybe it's it's okay what i've done we'll see later if i can do pseudo pacman minus s something then i'm a part of the big boys group right i can be part of wheel and then we are able to install stuff While we're looking at all these things, it's worth mentioning that the Ariser, the Ariser project, so on Arclix ISO, we have the Ariser link to the new website purely for this project. This is Arch Linux plus the scripts from Pico, Alice. If you do that, you get sort of the same thing you get a lot of choices that you beforehand put on a github and it just runs you type alice boom and it runs if you got xfce and you decide to change parameters and you say plasma instead of xfc then it will install plasma instead of xfce so it's about scripting and getting knowledge inside scripts and that's basically what this is that's basically what the other is and you choose. And there are other people who say, never mind, I'll use Calamares. Here he is, Firefox and Melt. Yay! They're getting installed. You see how much they need. Eh? It's incredible how much dependency Firefox has. All that I want packages is more because of Firefox and Melt, both of them.
XOR coming. Thank God. XFCE and XFC for goodies. But the fun is, I have, have not typed anything, right? I did not have to decide on what to do. Archway, is it an old computer? Is it a new computer? Then phase two, then to phase three. None of that. It's all in the script. But it helps, right? It helps because all the decisions we've just made are obvious to us because we did an archway installation. Would you like to shroot into the newly? Yeah. Nope. Don't want to shroot. And then we want to reboot, sudo reboot. And the question is, can I do something with the system? We go to the, this one, grub is there. LightDM is there, he greets us. And we've got XFCE. We've got a terminal and we see if we got, we have a Zerti. Mind you, we've got a Zerti. Eric is not in the Sudoers file. So I wonder if there's something I'm doing wrong or not. Right, so I'm becoming, becoming chief. I'm now chief in command, right? I'm root. And there is this command that says, let's go to the page, otherwise you'll forget and say, why, what was it again? In a phase two, we decide to do some things. We decide to create Eric. And Eric is created because I can log in, but Eric is not in command this is the line you need because i need to have wheel all 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 so editor nano visudo okay that's where you find it now you type it editor we're gonna use nano visudo and then yeah let's make it bigger page down page down and then i go up till i find this wheel all all the hashtag is gone space is gone Control x yes please it's now saved exit to become root again uh, sorry to exit root and to become eric again and sudo pacman i don't think we're supposed to do that so i think i've done something wrong but i'm in business right i've got my system Anything else I could install to show you that I can install something is Numix on there. I don't know. Uh, what, what package? Genie. Is Genie on Arch Linux? Yes. Voila. So I can install stuff. And that's the example. Genie is an accessory or is that an uh, office thing or is it a development thing? Right. Voila, so we have an Arch Linux system. It's very, very basic, right? It's still um, a lot of work still to be done. Also about printing and, and network uh, discovery and there is so much to do. But you've got an Arch Linux system and it's up to you to make it better. I'm installing this thing for Arch Linux Tweet Tool. So we see what happens on um, an Arch Linux system. In this case, it's LightDM. We have SDM. So it all matters where are we. And the Arch Linux tweet tool will be first created for Arch Linux, Arch Linux, well, Arch Linux first, right? Arch Linux second, then ALCI. We have Carly, we have Ariser, and then we've Garuda, and then we have NeverOS. We have seven systems to make it work. Later on, if that works, right? If the code is sound, then we can add more Arch Linux based systems. All right, voila, Arch install, good thing, works much better than, than uh, the time I, I tried it last time. So, voila, improvement all around. I'm a happy guy. Cheers.